Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show, getting us on Instagram, TV, YouTube, wherever you're getting this content. We do appreciate you. So today let's talk about web emergencies. You know, we just got uh, engaged in something this week where a client of ours, uh, as we were working on their site, their old hosting provider and their old web development company decided to take their site offline and to take it down. Now that not being an issue to us, the deal is this is an, a huge emergency to the client and to everybody out there. So it got me thinking, how do you handle web emergencies? What do you go ahead and what do you do to get yourself out of that? Who do you rely on? So luckily, we were very, very close to getting a site done and we were able to launch the development site and, and make some modifications to the development site to launch it to get them out of this emergency. But had we not been there, they would be sitting there with zero, with no site, no site presence. So we had a couple of different solutions. You know, one was for we were going to put up a coming soon page with a different web instance, with a different WordPress instance, and we were going to push development. The other thing was we had an opportunity to go to the other provider and kind of make nice with them and ask them to help us. We didn't want to go that. So what we ended up doing was we took the site in although it was kind of incomplete only a couple people will know how incomplete it really was we were able to strip out anything that made it not look great so when you're in a web emergency or before you have a web emergency how about that make sure you have a backup plan make sure you know what you're going to do make sure you secure the backups of your site and another web developer or hosting provider isn't holding that hostage like what we were here with uh this hundred and county web developer so couple of things you're really going to want to make sure that you're on top of. Know when your hosting expires. Know when any contracts expire. Know what kind of uptime and downtime that you have. And also know what to do when you're in these situations. And let's hope that it doesn't happen to you. If your site gets hacked or if any kind of malware or maliciousness happens to it, you know, companies like my our company, Trinity Web Media, can go ahead and get that site clean and get it up there. If you engage a company like us for maintenance, we have routine backups that we help you help provide for you. So web emergencies do happen. It's all about how you handle them to make sure that there's no interruption in business. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>